Hi loves! So today I want to share with you guys how I like to decorate my Smashbook. It's new to me, it's something that I just got, but it's really simple to put together with washi tape or stickers to make it look really pretty. So I've gotten a lot of questions on this and it was a really highly requested video. The reason why I got my Smashbook is because I've been traveling a lot and doing a lot of things lately and I like to save little things just to cherish that moment a little bit longer like border pass tickets or theme park tickets or any little notes that I've gotten over the past few months and I usually just keep it in a large shoe box and store it in my room and I like to go through it once in a while because it brings me happy memories so I decided why not take it out of that shoe box and into a book that I can look back on and remember all of those wonderful memories. You can find Smash Books at any craft store and also stores like Walmart and Target. I actually got mine for $12 at Target. What I love about it is that it already comes with pattern paper so you don't have to do too much thinking on that part. It's a little bit less effort. That's why I love Smash Books as opposed to doing a whole scrapbook where you have to look at the template. I feel like a Smash Book it's just really easy. You kind of put scraps together and it still looks really nice. I also really like the size of the pages because if you only have one or two pictures, it still works out great. So I'm going to start off by using scrap pieces of paper that match the template that I want. And I really like how this rough material looks in the back with the spoons. It looks very industrial, so I thought this was a great template for New York. Then I go ahead and put all of my pictures together. Now these pictures I printed it out. Some of them are some that I got at a photo booth. And then I grab my little memorabilia like my airline tickets, my baggage claim tickets, or anything like that and add that in additional on there. At the very end, I'm going to add the stickers and that's what really makes it look well put together and like you put a lot of effort into it. You could use little things like magazine cutouts. This actually looked like the city of New York or like a city and the whole purpose why I went to New York was for Maybelline so I thought that was great. Then I'm going to go ahead and just stick it on there with double sided tape. You could use the little glue stick that the pen actually comes with in your Smashbook when you buy a Smashbook. There is a glue. Um, stick at the very end of the pen. You could use that if you want. I think I will use that when I'm on the go, on the road somewhere, if I need to um, put anything in my Smashbook. But for right now, I'm just going to use double sided tape that I already have. Now it's time for my favorite part, which is putting on the stickers. I think it just makes everything look put together at the very end. And I actually got these from Walmart. I believe they were a dollar per sheet. You can find them there, and you can also find them at the dollar store or even Target. Each one of the Smashbooks also comes with a really neat pen where you can go ahead and doodle if you'd like or write a special memory or you can write a summary of all the experiences that you had on your trip. So I'm going to go ahead and leave a blank space where I can go ahead and write my favorite memory of the whole trip and then I'm going to go back with some stickers and put them on there and these were a gift from Jessica. Thank you so much Jessica. I love all the stickers that you gave me. Now I'm going to go ahead and decorate a second page and I love these pictures, especially the pink. So I decided that my template would be like a pinky color because that pink really pops out great. So once again I'm just grabbing scrap pieces of paper and these were actually leftover scraps from my wedding. I did a lot of DIY projects for my wedding so I'm going to go ahead and use those. And what I like to do first is print out the pictures and just grab similar scrapbook paper that's alike. And then I got this little one sweet moment card from, I think it's like Project Life. It comes in a stack of little quotes that you can buy at the craft. I'm also going to use washi tape to decorate my Smashbook. And I wanted to let you guys know that I got this huge stack of 24 washi tape, glitter washi tape, for $14 at Michael's. So make sure you get it because that's a great deal. And now on to my favorite part, which is putting the stickers at the very end. So I already went ahead and wrote in with my pen little memories that I had for that day and for each and special event that was going on. And then I'm going to go ahead and just add some really inspirational kind of stickers that I found like Dreamer. And then Rock Chick was actually um, the style that I was going for in New York. My stylist wanted something that was a little bit out of my comfort zone. So I was girly but still kind of rocker in a way. So I put all of these together and I think it looks really, really good. I'm so happy that I decided to get a Smashbook because now I can keep all of these memories together. And now they're out of my shoebox like. I said before. I also want to share with you guys my planner. It is a new 2014-2015 Erin Condren planner. I had to get the new one because I wanted a new cover. I actually designed it myself. So here is a sneak peek of my planner. Let me know if you want to see how I decorated my pages. 
Also make sure to check out my other videos. One is how to organize and decorate your planner and the other one was what I decorated the Smashbook with and they were memories from my Maybelline and Style Hall trip to New York. So I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Muchas besos. Mwah.